Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle with Oxmoor Auto Group. I am here today at Oxmoor Toyota. I have Chuck here with me. Hey guys. Now you guys, we're gonna go over some information on the 2020 Toyota Corolla. This is the manual. So Chuck actually did a video about three months ago and we had some of our YouTube followers ask questions about this vehicle. So we wanna go ahead and answer those for you. So mm -hmm. Chuck, let's go ahead and tell yeah. everybody about this. A lot of discussion uh, on this video before. This is the manual transmission uh, Corolla mm -hmm. with the uh, intelligent manual transmission transmission button which was a kind of a cool feature that a lot of questions about but one of the uh, biggest things there's no hand lever uh, parking brake right and so that was an actual lever that you would pull it would lock up you know the back tires and basically you use that to go drifting to have a lot of fun in this and the I get the appeal of it especially driving a manual and you want to be able to kind of throw on the brake and go sliding around in this right and the truth is uh, the car's too safe to really do that <laughs> So that's the key thing. So the emergency brake, the reason why it's gone to electronic, it's a better system, less space, less issues, um, just an overall safe. And it's tied into all the safety features built into this car. So Toyota Safety Sense P, brake assist, smart stop technology. All of that is because we're going to this electronic uh, braking system. So the, I'm sorry for all you enthusiasts that want to go take this, you know, Tokyo drifting around town. <laughs> You're not going to have that uh, hand parking brake lever to crank anymore. It's just not something that they're going to build a one off. And it, I think style wise, it looks better in the interior anyways. It mm -hmm. creates a better flow and everything. But also one of the things that somebody mentioned was the uh, rev matching right. that this intel uh, intelligent manual transmission uh, takes care of basically. So there's a heel to toe method where you could hit the brake and also accelerate at the same time to rev match when you downshifted to not lose any power and not feel that jerking motion. Um, you couldn't do that in this, mm -hmm. even if it didn't have the intelligent manual because of smart stop technology. That's part of our star safety system. And when you have your foot on the brake and you are engaging the gas pedal, if your foot's touching that brake or hitting it at all, it's gonna take away the power from that accelerator. So it's not even an option. Uh, on this. So again, I apologize for how safe and convenient this car <laughs> is, but that old school, you know, go get a 98 and you can crank that lever, go spinning, you know, 360 down the road. This car is just too safe to let you do that. Right. But it's still a manual transition uh, transmission because it's fun to drive. A lot mm -hmm. of people like that feel, that control. And we're going to actually show you how this intelligent manual transmission yes. works. So if you want to hop in the car. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to show you when we downshift what it feels like when you're not using the intelligent manual transmission. So I'm in third, fourth now, and so I'm going to downshift as if you were coming to a curve. And you felt that? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to, there's a button here, it's the intelligent manual transmission. All you have to do is push that. I'm in third, I'm going to drop it to second. And you'll feel that, do you hear that rev, how it went a little yeah, bit higher? Yeah, yeah because uh, it was rev matching the speed that we were going. So I'm going to go around here and do a little U-turn. I'm going to take it back into fourth like we were before. So third, fourth. And so you feel that, you remember what it was like before? Mm -hmm. Go to third and did you feel no, that anything? Was, yeah, that was very smooth. Yes, so downshifting you know, as you're slowing down, uh, coming up to a curve, anything like that, it's gonna do that rev matching for you when you have the intelligent manual transmission selected, or you can turn it off and it goes right back to- Oh yeah, that was bad. <laughs> it's not bad, <laughs> just how it works. So it's a cool little feature, makes uh, driving this uh, very forgivable yeah. uh, for manual transmission, but these things are a blast. I like driving a manual transmission uh, car, it just makes me feel like I'm more connected to the road. Um, and like you said, uh, one person pointed out, these are hard to come by. Mm -hmm. uh, not a lot of people make manual transmissions anymore, but we happen to have like four or five of them in stock right now. So that's great. It's very cool. Woo! Oh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. You did a great job driving. Thank you. If you guys want to make fun of me in the comments, that's fine. I'm driving's all right. It's whatever. <laughs> all right, you guys. Hopefully Chuck and I were able to answer uh, the uh, questions that you all had. Now, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. Uh, we'll definitely take a look at those and we'll do another video and answer those additional questions. So thanks guys. I uh, will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.